it is appropriate for spiritual partners to remain together only as long as they grow together. Each choice that you make is a choice of intention. What's up, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it's going to be video five of my How I Started a Business on a $500 Budget series. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. So for this challenge, I wanted to inspire people who may or may not be starting at literally ground zero. No followers, no background, no nothing. So with that being said, me doing this series, I could not use my own face, my own following, my networking connections, or anything like that to obtain any sales. I started at zero, but zero now seems so long ago, and I feel like doing these videos, a lot of people don't see it as a possibility for themselves. So for me, it was really important that in this challenge, I put it at a very even playing field to hopefully inspire you guys to see the vision for yourself even when you can't really see it all the way through. So today we are going to be doing some marketing for Instagram. Um, once again, this is on a $500 budget, so make sure that you are utilizing family, friends, or anybody who's willing to help you on this journey. So basically, I sent them pictures of the outfits and allowed them to style it to their own liking on how they would actually wear it if they were to purchase this from the site. So we have Ariana and we have Devin and they are going to be my models for today. Because this is for Instagram and the feed has to be organic, I wanted them to put their own little twist on it without stressing them out. Once again, we are using the sample sizes, so we're not using any inventory by doing this. So Devin, you're all dressed, right? Okay, so Devin put together her look. She is confident. So this is Devin's look. She's in the red dress. Yes, girl. <laughs> I need some of this confidence. Okay. So where? what was your um, reason for putting this together? Like what was the, the look? Where are you wearing this to? The grocery store. The grocery <laughs> store. To pick up my nephew from school. To the club. Okay, yes girl. I wanted the feed to be organic so I allowed them to pick out the looks that they wanted to create. Some of these looks are things that I personally wouldn't create for myself. I wouldn't style certain things the way the girl styled it, but that's the beauty of creating an organic, authentic feed. Some customers might be gravitated towards someone's sense of style and other customers might be gravitating towards my sense of style. I allowed them to just do their thing and figure it out and do what they wanted to do with these outfits. Now this next part is super simple and very important and essential to creating your Instagram feed. Next, you wanna be going to a location where there's either a plain wall, maybe a, if you wanted something fashion, trendy, then you probably wanna go to a trendy area, maybe commercial area, maybe a coffee shop, things like that. So always look around your neighborhood, utilize your neighborhood to create the Instagram feed that you want for your business. So we found our wall. Now we are going to take pictures. The iPhone. And I'm gonna be using the camera to take pictures. So. Another really important thing is you wanna make sure that you are capturing Instagram stories content or Instagram video content. This is important because when you do have a new page and you don't have that many followers, it's important that your, your new followers or your potential customers see that you're actually a real page or girls in the outfits and you can actually tag them and they, they can see that they actually have tagged themselves in the photos, then it comes off more authentic and more trustworthy. Another thing that we are gonna do is we are, um, I have to do an IG story because we wanna make sure that we have video content as well. So I'm going in Instagram and I'm gonna just do a pan. Go to your um, yeah. Okay. Yes, girl. And we're gonna save it and use it for later. Okay, so we wrapped up day one and that took about one hour. We had four different looks and about 12 pieces of content that we got for free. Now, the outfits that they're wearing in these videos are all sample sizes. 
So I only have one sample size for each look. So yes, we are taking away from our inventory, but when you weigh out the options, we're not paying for models, we're not paying for photographers, we're not paying for makeup artists, we're not paying for a studio, not paying for a location. So taking back that cost is definitely worth it if we're gonna be able to curate a whole Instagram feed to then do marketing and then to get sales. Now let's go ahead and go into day two. So for day two, I had Viviana, Maria, and Valerie help me out with Instagram pictures. We have our first model. And you wanna introduce yourself? I'm Valerie Madera. Okay, and you chose the red dress. Red dress. Okay, <laughs> all right, so you can go ahead and get changed and we will go ahead and see how you styled your look. Okay, so now we have our second model for today and you wanna introduce yourself? My name's Viviana. I'm Michael's sister. <laughs> she's acting super shy. It's just cause she's really cute. So, you know, you know how that goes. When we do stuff like this, I always bring like jean jackets, different shoes, mm -hmm. different like jewelry to try on so that people could kind of like create the look for them. Especially when you're doing this on a budget, you want to use the things that you have personally and yeah. then ask if they can bring things that they would wear personally so that they can do it in a way where they're comfortable and it looks organic. Okay, so you can go ahead and put your look on. And we have our beautiful num model number three. Hi. And do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Maria. You're cute. <laughs> She's Maria. <laughs> Maria. Okay. And you picked out the. I picked out this sweater. Okay. And it's really cute. It has these buttons right here, and I love how it's like. I really love these buttons because it's like super vintage, and I really like vintage stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably just gonna wear these with like um, a pair of jeans and like maybe some heels. And yeah. Okay, so you can go ahead and put on your look and then we'll see how you styled it. Thanks. Okay. Feel comfortable in it? I love it. It's I, really cute. Yes. It's really cute. Cool. You look really cute in it. Thank you have you a nice know. body. Yeah. Yeah. Try, try. <laughs> okay, super cute. Dun da da da. Model number three. <laughs> super cute. You look like a Barbie doll. I do. You really do. I kind of you honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. You, you like. I feel like you're channeling your your grandma, <laughs> like the, the original sass. So this is cute. And you said, where do you feel like you would wear some like a girls' day out or maybe brunch? Yeah, or something maybe like, like casual like girls' day or yeah, brunch. I think okay. that'd be perfect. Super cute. Let's do a little spin. You look good, girl. Whenever I am learning something different, I like to immerse myself in any type of information that I can get. I personally like immersing myself by using audiobooks. If you are an Audible member, you get one audiobook for free and two Audible originals every month by clicking the link down below in the description box by going to www.audible.com slash findguru or texting findguru to 500-500. For the sake of this video, you can look up books about marketing, you can look up books about branding, advertising, as well as just overall self-development to even give yourself the motivation to get up and start your business or to focus on your body goals or anything like that. If you guys are interested, all the information is gonna be down below in the description box. So by now you guys know the drill, we're at like a commercial place where it would look organic if they actually came here by themselves to take pictures for Instagram. But because we are marketing, you know the drill, we're doing it all in one day to get an Instagram feed up and running for a startup clothing line. So this is really good lighting and we're gonna take a picture of her in the red dress. Yes, girl. Yeah. What I yeah. like to do is I like to like take a few and then show you what it looks like so, so that you can like, like edit. Yeah. yeah, 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 like my face. <laughs> okay. No, you look good though, but I'm I mean, I, I understand. Genuine smile. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's do it again. So I'm gonna do it like this. Is that mm -hmm. cool? Like it's like a fashion. But it looks great though. Hey. Okay. Cool. The video. Thank you. <laughs> okay. The video. Okay, cute. Now I'm gonna do an IG story so that um, we have some video content. Yes, girl. Okay. So cute. Okay. I'm so excited. Yay. <laughs> okay. This, um, here. Yes, girl. What do I do? Whatever you want. Turn, spin. You're so cute. Take one step back. Mm -hmm. And the hands in the front is cute. 
you. Yes, you better, girl. Okay, I. But that's cute. Yeah, I like that one. I can edit these to make them. So, what do you think? Do you like this better, or do you like this better, and you want to just change your pose? Um, they're both nice though. I like that picture. You like this picture? So we'll yeah. heart it. Okay, so you like that picture? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we can do both. Yeah. Yeah. It's both fine. are. Both. When I'm taking the pictures, I really like to take into consideration that I want anywhere from three to six pieces of content for every look. So that might include a actual fashion photo, which is just a full look. That might include something that's like kind of half body or it might include a filler photo, which is kind of just like of the actual outfit, whether that's really close up and crop, where you can't even see the person's face and it's a really up close picture of the person's outfit. And then also capturing IG story content as well as in-feed video content as well. Drink your drink. Look that way, yeah. Cute. Cute. The lighting is good, huh? The lighting is super good. The biggest tip that I would say is you have to find something that's in the sunlight. You want your sun to be like on this side if you're shooting this way, but you want to be in the shade. And then over here, you could kind of see how there's like light in the trees. When you step over, that's when like the light was like this yeah. on your face. So that's why I kept telling you to step over. Um, so those, those are, are cute. So cute. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Let me see if it came out. Boomerang the boomerang. That's cute. Yeah. That's cute. Okay, that's we're cute. done. Cool. Super quick, super easy. That took like less than five minutes. Mm -hmm. We're done. <laughs> So finishing up day two, we were able to capture a lot of content to create more diversity and a lot of content to curate my Instagram feed. Next, we had my cousin Tyler come over. And this was in the beginning of the video series where I only stuck to creating content inside. You'll see how I utilize the natural light indoors to create the content for those of you who might be in a colder climate or feel like you don't have a good, you're not in a good city to go in a commercial area. So now using iPhone and using good lighting, we're gonna see Okay, this is actually really good light right here, but I'm gonna move this mirror out the way. We don't need this. And I am going to take a picture here. So just pose. Snap, snap. Okay. Okay. This is actually the production manager. She's the one who gets these girls in order. All right, y'all, so this is a section in the video that's super important. I can't be in these pictures because I wanna create this as organic as possible. So I've nominated my family. Cousin number one, this is Buddha's mom. And cousin number two, Anonymous's mom. <laughs> so I'm gonna, okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. So, because I don't have the budget for models or anything like that, I'm gonna make my family members model. So you're gonna wear this, and then I think it would be cute if you like paired it with the denim jacket. And then you're going to wear this sweater, and you can just wear it with that, and I'll give you some sunglasses, give you some earrings, you know, style you up real quick. And you can put boot in the picture so that, you know, it's real cute. So go ahead and change your clothes. They're, if you haven't noticed, they're super <laughs> excited to do this for me. Slash, I just am making them, but they love me, so they're gonna do it. And okay, so let's go ahead and change your clothes. Change your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them, Buddha, change your clothes. Honestly, when you're starting out and you don't have that many options, use anybody who is going to help you, even if they don't want to help you. You can see my cousins weren't really excited about this, and one of my cousins is pregnant. But this is really great because it shows the diversity of the brand, it shows that it's something comfortable, and people from different walks of life and different areas in their life are able to wear these outfits and still feel confident and feel beautiful. And we were only taking pictures of them from the waist up, so honestly, they have sweats and slides on. That's not really any of my concern. I'm gonna focus on everything from the waist 
waist up for this photo shoot. So now like the other parts of the video, I just go ahead and accessorize them, allow them to use some of the stuff that I have in my house and then we go out and we scout different locations. So we're just gonna walk around a commercial area and find somewhere to take pictures. I think something that's really important and something that I value a lot about these clips is I run a family business and I employ my family to help me. This is just something that is close to my heart because my cousin's daughter is pretty much always around while we're working and this just makes me realize and I hope that it inspires you to know that when you have a solid foundation and you have help, and you are in a place where you do have kids, as long as you are organized and you have the support from your families or your friend, you can still make your dreams come true and you are able to work alongside of your children. Smile, look at me. You said my face wasn't gonna be in it. No, your face isn't it. Smile, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now George. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I gotta call Tyler though, cause I don't know what she puts in. We it. can't record in Starbucks, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy her a Starbucks, so she uses a little prop up for this photo. And we can't record inside, so you're gonna see us when we come out. Okay, so I am gonna count this in the budget because it counts as marketing dollars, and we spent four dollars and twenty-five cents. They're waiting for their cup of coffee, and then we're gonna finish taking pictures. So, Am I supposed to drink it? Whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I hate taking pictures. Is my face in it? Yes. I'm just taking them. Where's my phone? Okay. Okay, Katrina, get in with her. Hi, Mimi's girl. Hi, Mimi's girl. Don't um, don't lean forward. Like sit up straight. <laughs> <How'd you laughs> yeah. Yeah, sit up straight so your posture is good. Yes, put your hand on your belly. Two hands, one. Yeah, whatever you think. Super cute. Okay, okay so, the, so the same objective for this is I'm gonna make sure that I'm getting different types of content, I'm getting my IG stories, and I'm also getting um, a diversity of different locations to make sure that the Instagram feed looks organic and it look well put together and I'm not basically repeating the same backgrounds in the same locations. Uh so we got good content. This is gonna be great for the Instagram feed. And we just finished about like five to seven different photos. And we were out here for 20 minutes. And we spent $4.25 <laughs> on models, marketing, and all of that. So we're good to go on the budget. All right, y'all, so that concludes today's video and how I capture the content. The next video will be how I edit the content as well as how I do some of the marketing and the Instagram stories. This total video was budgeted for $4.25. Now, the only reason why I'm budgeting that into this video is because I actually used it for the photo. It looks organic. It looks like it's something that's natural, so it works out. Um, but that's pretty much it use your people use your locations use your iphone and just use very good editing apps which i will show you in the next video but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video Bisous.